gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Underground Rising right here on the Psychosin Project YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new band called Van Helst, who are gearing up to release their debut album, World of Make Believe, on the 4th of March. As usual, I'm going to be doing this by going track by track, um, doing the reviews, telling you how the tracks are, and then doing a conclusion at the end to let you know whether the album is worth investing. So, without further ado, let's get straight into this. <laughs> first track on the album is called The End. Now musically, this brings to mind Hailstorm with a very, very strong rock and roll feeling. When we get to the middle of the song, there's a nice little breakdown with some gothic style keyboards and synths. However, vocally, that's a different kettle of fish altogether. Um, there's some very straightforward sort of rock and roll vocals. Um, Cammy Van House, the lead singer, has a superb voice on her. But then we get some more extreme vocals as well, bringing to mind Arch Enemy and the Agonist. Um, and also, they bring, to me anyway, um, remind me a little bit of, um, well, early Flyleaf for one and another unsigned band called Versus Our Master from Texas. So, all in all, this is a very, very strong opening to the album, and definitely a great song to start with when they play live. So, yeah, great start to the album here. <laughs> Up next is what I believe is the first single from the album, Save Me. They released a music video for this literally last week, as of the time of recording of this review. Um, and on this album, I've gone for more of a sort of... In this moment meets Evanescence Phil, um, with a bit of a gothic style um, riff structure on there. A um, bit of a slower song than the opener. Still got the um, very, very heavy vocals. But on this one, um, Cammy Van House, I do apologise to her if I am pronouncing her first name wrong, or in fact the entire name wrong. I do apologise about that if I'm doing it wrong. Um, but on this, she sounds very much like Amy Lee, it has to be said. Um, However, there's definite moments of it, uh, definite moments, definite times of in this moment in there as well, with a very good um, riff in there, and I can see why this has been released as the first track from the album as a single. Go check it out on YouTube, I'll put the link up there for you as well, um, and it's probably a good way to find out whether or not you'll enjoy the band. Anyway, yes, yeah, second track, Save Me, it's so definitely another winner from me. <laughs> next is Save Me. Now this is more of a um, old school style kind of power ballad. Um, again, really, really epic build up on this song. Really, really well done. Um, with a nice slow pace that doesn't get too slow and doesn't make the song boring. With a fantastic riff and superb vocals from Cammy on this one as well. Um, the only th problem I can see... Um, that might end up becoming annoying for this band is that they will get compared to Evanescence a lot. Although, saying that, in a year that Evanescence are gearing up to fight, come back with another new album, this might be the best time for this band to be releasing this album. So hopefully um, this will bring them some success as well um, with the Evanescence comparisons. But over their career, I can see it maybe becoming a little bit annoying. However... This is another superb song. I um, can see it becoming another single for them and hopefully doing well for them. So yes, the third song is uh, Ryan's song is absolutely superb as well. Let's get on with the album. <laughs> Up next is World of Make Believe. Now this on this song, sorry, we're back to another straightforward rocker of a song and um, bringing to mind Hailstorm. However, when we get to the chorus, we have a very, very sort of dreamlike um, vocal performance from Cammy herself, um, giving this song a very, very unique feeling to it. All in all, there's another absolute su absolutely superb, yeah, helps if I can speak English, actually superb song on this album and I can see this being another huge hit with the um, people who get to hear it, hopefully um, more then um, just a small crowd will hear this and it will. this album will be a big, big hit and get the band signed to a bigger label because if there's one little gripe with this um, song, it's that maybe the production on it isn't as good as it could be. I mean, if they were given a bigger budget to record their album, then they could sound absolutely huge and um, really, really clear. But sometimes the drums sound a little bit flat on this. Um, however, that's more of a production issue. Nothing really to do with the band. The band put in a superb performance on this song. Anyway, another ex absolutely excellent song for the title track of this album. So let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Halfway through the album, we come to a song called Questions, which is a very slow, um, epic number that deals with um, rape, essentially, lyrically. Um, and it's done very, very well. It's um, 
kind of brings out the whole um, idea of whether or not women uh, should be seen as not consenting to sex while they're being dressed as in certain ways, should we say. And obviously, a lot of us, most of us are against this. Uh, well, those of us with sense are against that thinking that if you go out dressed a certain way, then you're obviously consenting to having sex with whoever or provoking it, essentially. But um, this well, very well um, handled on this song. It's only about three and a half minutes long, which is surprising because I thought be um, for song... With such a subject matter, you'd expect something a bit bit longer, but no, it's handled very well, very concisely, with superb musical background backing, and again, um, the vocals recalling Amy Lee of Evanescence. So, um, yeah, another excellent song on here, even though its lyrical matter is very, very dark. Up next is Denying Eyes. Now, this is a song that um, it is like a classic-style ballad, essentially, um, it literally shifts through um, different sort of moods. Well, not shifts through them, but it um, increases in intensity as the song goes on and really, really showcases Cammy's um, vocal prowess, along with the band's ability to really build up songs into something absolutely epic and explode near the end. Another absolutely superb song. Um, to put it into context, I suppose you could call this their version of My Immortal. So um, if you like that kind of song, this is a song for you, another absolutely superb song. Definitely, can see this definitely being a single in the future. So another winner on this album for me. Up next is Monster, and this has a nice return of the more extreme vocals um, heard on the first few tracks of the album. Um, with a really, really quite catchy chorus on this one as well, we're back to the more full throttle rock and roll style of earlier on in the album. Um, the only thing that lets this song down is maybe the production has made it so that the song doesn't, like the chorus, doesn't quite hit as hard as it should do. But again, not the band's fault here. This is more down to the, whoever was mixing the album. However, all in all, a very, very good song. Another strong contender for a single. It's nice to hear those more extreme vocals haven't been forgotten and do make a great return here. And there's a definitely a little, a tiny touch of in this moments, um, more heavier moments in this song as well. <laughs> Up next is a slow brooding number by the name of Plastic Smile. Um, this is a song which lyrically deals with the media's obsession with body image and um, you feel that this is something a little bit closer to um, the heart of the singer Cammy Van House as she puts in a lot of emotional weight behind the uh, lyrics on this one. Um, not to say she didn't on the other songs, but this one especially, you can hear her passionate um, raging against the machine as it were on uh, this song really really excellent slow build up by the band as well musically um, to underpin the very very vital message that Van Houst, uh, Cammy Van Houst in, is trying to get across herself sorry I'm forgetting how to speak English today um, so another absolutely superb song very very perfectly well uh, perfectly done and um, an absolute winner as well <laughs> An ultimate track on the album is called Put Him Down and this just proves that once again this band can tackle any kind of rock music as they tackle on here a bit of a classic blues rock feel and um, again showcasing the absolutely superb versatility of Cammy Van House, Holst's voice, sorry, or Houst, no, Cammy Van Houst, sorry, momentary lapse of... Um, concentration and memory there anyway she puts in a superb vocal performance here band really really do give it a proper back room cd um blues blues uh, rock feel to this song as well with a superb longing uh, guitar solo as well in the middle of the song absolutely superb <laughs> And so we come to the end of the album, a song called Perfect Storm, and this is probably the most evanescence um, the band sounds, with um, Cammy Van Houst backed up by only a piano on this song. Um, yeah, brilliant mind, obviously, My Immortal by Evanescence, but otherwise, very, very good song. Again, showcase, showcasing there, Cammy Van Houst's um, superb vocal ability. So all in all, very good ender to the album. So, all in all, what did I make of the album? Well, it's a very, very strong debut album. And, uh, honestly, it outdoes quite a lot of uh, new releases that come out by 
more major bands and I see, I see this band if given the right push becoming a massive band massively successful if you are a fan of Evanescence definitely check them out or Gothic Rock in general hell if you're a fan of Hailstorm definitely check them out this band combined elements of Evanescence Hailstorm and in this moment all together into one fantastic whole while bringing their own thing to the table as well and um, honestly the production let them down at one or two points and um, I will admit I kind of felt like there was a bit um bit of a lack of the more extreme vocals on a few songs as well would have been nice to hear that a little bit more to give them a little bit more of a unique edge but otherwise absolutely superb first effort from this band hopefully we'll get them over here in the UK at some point in the future and um, I'll definitely have to sort out some kind of interview with them as well for my show anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll be back again soon with another review